What's up everybody, it's Ricky here. As you can see, I'm currently not at where I'm used to be. I'm actually now on tour with Martin Smith, just touring around UK. And this is a lovely hotel in Sheffield. And I'm just having a cup of tea right here just to chat with you today about this video in Facebook that has garnered 4 million views. I think it's my most viewed video yet. So just a brief backstory. Chris from Coffee Break Grooves got in touch with me. What Coffee Break Grooves does is they sell backing tracks to musicians and they are mostly in jazz style so basically he got in touch with me saying that he wanted to send me a track from his catalog it's a way to promote me and it's a way to promote his product as well so his facebook page back then he's got 84,000 followers so that's pretty impressive so i just said yes and i picked the track Anyway, on that day, I was filming something else on my YouTube channel. I was actually feeling already pretty tired and pretty restless because it was a full filming day. But at the end of the day, I still had to record this short improv video. You know, I'm a person of my word. If I said I will do it, I will do it. Honestly, it took me a few takes. I think I had it just played. It was like a 15 minute long track. So I just played it over and over again and I just improvised. And after that, I pick and choose the best like one minute that has sort of an ending to it. Much like hearing yourself singing or talking to the mic, I wasn't a huge fan of listening to me noodling around or like improvising or my mind was playing. But at least that's what I thought. So I sent it to Chris and he was impressed. Also later that day, he posted it. So that video started getting a lot of views, shares and comments. A number that is fairly large in comparison to all the other videos that he posted. And time goes by, the video actually got reshared quite a bit and it reached a million last December. I think it was quite a milestone for me because it was in my bucket list that I wanted to reach a million in anything. So I guess I think I need a bigger bucket list now. <laughs> but anyway, this year in, it still got reshared a lot. Recently, it reached 4 million views. Let's read some of the comments. Pushing the beat a little, but consistently. What a great start to what will be an amazing guitar journey. Well, I gotta say, I think I did push the beat a little bit. I'm not sure why. But probably, but yeah, he's right. Very nice guitar work. Only wish I had learned to play in my youth. Nice to hear great sounds from female guitarists. Oh, thank you. I need this guitar. Well, it's a Fender, so yes. Awesome sounding guitar and such talented shredding. <laughs> That's cool. Sounds like she's using a Hall of Fame guitar effects pedal. Awesome sound. What amazes me is, is it take years to play like that yet are Yet there are kids playing like that such, at such a young age. Well, honestly, I'm not that young anymore. So <laughs> I might have looked a bit young in, in that video. Great performance in your fingers. Fantastic. God bless you. Excellent guitar. It's fantastic. I love, seeing, I love seeing women play the guitar. I'm learning how to play also. Play like a dream. Pretty cool. Keep it up, man. Even if you're the only one that makes you happy, I appreciate good talent where I say it, you're beautiful and you have the monster talent of you. Anyway, that's good. I hear some Pink Floyd in there. That's very interesting because Pink Floyd, like David Gilmore, was never my influence. I never listened to the music until my cover. I hear Joe Bonamassa. I really like Joe Bonamassa's playing. I don't think I can play like him. He's He's too good. Amazing girl. I love the way you play with so much humility. Human? Human? Litty? Humility? Sounds like Buckethead music. I guess all these comments was like pretty nice. Like I'm listening to Carlos Santana. That is a very good positive comment actually. So yeah, I mean, I never really listened to Carlos Santana. Orianti was influenced by Carlos Santana and I was influenced by Orianti, so probably that's where it's from. <laughs> Future Deep Purple Disciple. You know what's funny thing about Deep Purple? I think, I know it's classic rock, but I just think that the guitar tones and all that is a bit dated now. <laughs> you know what, what do I know? <laughs> it's just my opinions. Feminine universe in music. This is so funny, like I never wanna like just be in the feminine music. I just wanna be a musician, you know? When she is playing, sounds like Gary Moore is back to her with scratches on the soul. Girl, follow this way. That's cool. Gary Moore is cool. My dad was a fan of Gary Moore. Yeah, I mean, he's a very soulful player. I'm not very familiar with his work, but I guess that's a very positive comment. Yeah, it's a lot of great comments. I don't think I want to read all 500, 600 of them. You got Joe Satch, Satch style. Yeah, Joe Satchani. I do have Joe Satchani style. 
though. I love Joe's that trend. Okay, this is really bad. I think I'm turning Japanese. That's a little bit racist, but well, I'm not Japanese, by the way. She should hook up with Steve Vai. Steve Vai is a really nice man. I have not met him yet, but I would love to. I'm not sure if I want to play with Steve Vai or I dare to play with Steve Vai. He's just too good. You know, there was one gift that, um, which is like, Simon Cow giving a clap, like a really really good clap. It's literally my dream one day. Simon Cow's gonna do that in front of me. Uh, I'm not sure how am I gonna achieve that, but you know, life has a funny way of showing things to you. <laughs> anyway, that's all the comments that I want to read today before you get bored. Let's watch and see what I think about my plane. I think a year plus ago, it was recorded last March. Okay, let's do this thing. I think mean, my vibrato was still a little bit shaky, I think. I mean, honestly, I think my timing was alright. It wasn't like too good, honestly. It, like, I mean, it was like a year ago. I think I, I improved quite a lot. Um, that's probably my main thing that I wanted to improve for quite a period of time, you know? Uh, that's a John Petrucci lick right there. <laughs> Another John Petrucci lick actually. This is probably when I... That was probably when I ran out of ideas <laughs> when I did the tremolo thing. It's, honestly, it's a very simple jam. I just didn't really think about it and I just played. Just the moral of the story for me is to not think too much. Sometimes I tend to think too much and tend to do too much planning. I guess this is where my soul comes in and it takes over and people love it and people buy into it, you know? I guess that's a good... Um, that's a very good lesson for me, personally. Anyway, the people who commented um, was probably right. I guess um, my timing was a bit off, honestly, but I think I improved so much over just this year with my timing and everything. Uh, but I guess some people could be a little bit nicer. I mean, there are some comments that were pretty mean, you know? Maybe I was struggling in timing, maybe I was struggling with rhythm, or maybe I was just really tired and I just want to get over with it, you know? I don't know, we never know, but I have to say that I came a long way. I guess one of the it factor that made so many people love this video is because how I made people feel, you know? What I can learn from this is think less and just play and because I have it in me. I think that some of my best works are the ones that I just play and not overthink things. If you have some time, do check out two covers of mine that I actually just do just that, uh, which is Mary Did You Know and While My Guitar Gently Weeps. I hope you do check it out. Give it a thumbs up. It would really help the algorithm and really help me. That's it for today. If you make it this far, thank you so much. I know that you love my videos. <laughs> I'll keep producing. I'll keep making videos for everybody. See you again next time. Bye.